What is going on guys? I hope you guys are all doing great. Today we're going to talk about how you can move into a data analyst role at your current company. As more companies are becoming data driven, there is an increasing need for workers who can apply data analysis skills. That's why you're learning SQL, you're learning data visualization, and you're learning advanced analytics. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to master all these three skill sets so that you can get yourself a data analyst role. Another way of moving into a data analyst role is to know how to position yourself in a company because as that company is becoming data driven, it is going to need employees that wants to work data driven. And that is where you come into the picture. In this video, I'm going to give you some practical advice on how to position yourself to be selected to take part of this data driven journey and be on your way to become a data analyst at your current company. The first thing you have to do is to find out what is going on at your company. Are there any data driven initiatives? Which departments do they affect and when will they get to your department? This could potentially be a great opportunity for you to position yourself as a data driven individual in your department. I remember back when I used to work as a consultant driving data projects in companies, I would see this time after time as we get to different departments, people would be selected to learn how to use data analysis tools like Tableau or Power BI, even if they didn't have that same passion that a lot of you guys have. But the companies need these individuals to create a data culture. My second advice is that you need to make data analysis skills part of your job development roadmap when you are discussing your future and how you can improve your current role at your company. When I worked with software sales, I would often be annoyed that I didn't understand the technical aspects of what I was selling. So I reached out to my manager and I told him that I want to understand the product, so are there any courses I can join in on? And there were plenty of courses and this is what made me really interested in the technical aspects of data analytics. The third point I want to make is to rephrase your mindset from I want to be a data analyst to I want to work data driven. What I mean by that is you can't expect to jump immediately from your current role to something else. If you instead can embrace the process and accept the fact that you're going to learn how to work data driven piece by piece in your current role and then over time you will eventually get there. And when you actually feel like you're ready, then you can consider requesting a title change or a position change. Now, as I mentioned before, when I used to work in software sales, I would just focus on taking courses. And what happened is that I picked up you know, small pieces and eventually I told myself, okay, you're ready now. Now you can try and go into more technical software sales because that is where I wanted to go from regular sales. Fourth point that I have is one that might make you a little bit nervous, but that is when the time is right, don't be scared to ask for a change or consider leaving your company. Now this might sound a little bit brutal and harsh, but if you have put in the work, you believe that you have the skill set and you're proven that you can do it, you have to ask your manager to change your title so that it reflects your new skill set and role or else actually move to a different department. If that's not gonna happen, then it is time to look outside of your company. My biggest career leap was by far when I went from consultancy to the client side. I had the skills to drive projects, I had delivered numerous times, and I looked internally in the company for a role which would give me ownership in driving data-driven initiatives. And honestly, the moment that I understood that this is not gonna happen, I handed in my resignation and I started to look for new jobs. And there's no doubt that me handing in my resignation is what made me really look for that right job, the right position to take me to the next level where I wanted to go in my career. My final point is that you have to be willing to dive deeper than the rest. And most of you guys watching this video are because you are spending extra time learning necessary skills and you're applying yourself. But if you get into this position at your current company, then you really need to hold on to it and really run with it to make yourself stand out. So what is the point of all this advice that I'm trying to give you? And that is that you need to look at becoming a data-driven individual as a journey and open your eyes to other paths except the traditional path. With the dedication that a lot of you guys have, you are already exemplifying a skill which is very high in demand and that is the willingness to change. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on data analytics, then subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week.